Molly, I, I wanted to start by talking a little bit about um, you know what Nevada is kind of doing to kind of keep the girls on the move, and um, how different was it than some of the other you know big teams that you've kind of had to battle against this season? Yeah, I think we definitely came in not expecting as a team their caliber. We weren't used to getting dug that much and getting blocked that much, and they had good passing, they had good serves, and all around they're a solid team, and I don't think we were expecting that because we haven't seen it this year so consistently as that team, and that hurt us. And the one, the one thing that I did see is, especially in those first two sets, the girls were able to get out to, uh, your girls were able to get out to a pretty good lead. Um, you know, what, what do you see in uh, you know, those first two sets where Nevada was kind of able to you know, claw their way back in and uh, eventually get those two set wins there? They were definitely more consistent than us. Um, we had the lead and then we let them back in. And then they'd have the lead and we kind of creep back in. But we never took charge and pulled away. We just kind of stayed there with them. And then in the end, they always were the ones to finish and be consistent and finish each set. I'm sure you guys are well aware of how, how much service errors can really, you know, hurt. And it seemed like in that first set, that was that was one thing that really got out of hand there. Is it just something about um, that uh, arena itself? Is it harder to kind of gauge, you know, where, where to put the, the serve in the right place? Or w what do you think kind of contributed to some of those uh, miscues in that first set? I think set? service errors come down to nerves and not being mentally there. Um, Nevada was here last year, and they played in this arena. We haven't as a team. And I think some of our girls were mentally ready to play in this environment. So to her, this there is definitely a risk. Uh, was, was it any surprise to you that the team was able to stay fired up, you know, even when, uh, you know, I, I guess things were at, at their bleakest, so to speak? It seemed like the girls were fired up until the very, you know, the very last point drop for Nevada. Yeah. No, in this environment with our community and parents and friends behind us, it's hard to lose in intensity and being happy to be there. So we were there the whole time, so it's good. And this has been this has been one heck of a ride for, for, for you especially. I mean, you're the kind of uh, you're the link between the, the last state tournament qualifying team and uh, and this year's. Um, I guess what can you say about the the journey from from there to here and uh, and how far this team has come? Yeah, um, this year we weren't expected to do what we did, and that all came down to mentally preparing and believing. And I'm really proud of this group of girls for how far we've come and. I felt like I had to be the rock this year, which I think I was because I've been here before. I've done this before. And so just to everyone look at me and me be that rock and calm everyone down. And I'm proud of these girls. And what about the great group of talent that's going to be coming back next year to try and, you know, get, get something started with West Liberty, get, try to get a tradition started of making sure that the girls are always a, a mainstay here at Cedar Rapids. What do you think of those younger girls that are going to be sticking around? I'm going to tell them that to finish this. I mean, they've been here now. They've experienced this environment, this journey. And so they have the opportunity to finish it and to get the goal next year.